Hey YouTube, if you want to see how I achieved this look, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty, I'm going to start off with Painterly by MAC. It's a paint pot. I'm going to blend that all over my crease so that I don't have any creasing throughout the day. I'm then going to follow that up with my emollient brush by MAC. I'm going to blend that out pretty, pretty well. I'm now adding on NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to blend that in above my crease and all over my lid. I'm using Studio Finish Concealer in NW50 in my crease so that when I blend my brown out, I'll get a nice, rich, creamy brown. And the brown that I'm going to use today is going to actually be In Bark by MAC. I'm going to pop that in with a pointy brush to get real definition. And then I'm going to blend that out with a fluffy brush from MAC. And just really work that in the crease so that I can get a nice gradient effect. Next up on the middle third of my eye, going towards the inner part of my eye, I'm going to blend out Samoa Silk. Which is a beige. Then, once I've blended that out, I'm going to go ahead and on the outer corner, blend in Gruel. I'm going to work that out. And then in my inner V, I'm going to use Antiques and blend that on the outer corner of my eye. With a fluffy brush, I'm now blending all those colors together to get rid of any harsh lines. And I'm using Milani Cosmetics Blush in Sunset Beach to define my, right above my crease because I want it like flesh tone color. I don't want anything too distracting from my transition color. blend that out and I've done my eyebrows and my eyeliner couldn't really get it quite on camera but now I'm blending out my top of my top of my nose the bridge of my nose with NW40 to give me more of a deeper contour and I'm now using my dual fiber brush after I've mixed in Lancome the base as well as Resilience Lift Extreme by Estee Lauder for the foundation. The color I'm using is Cognac. And I'm blending that all over my face. Around my muzzle, any dark areas. And my hairline as well. Now I'm blending out on the bridge of my nose Harmony to give me more definition. Following that up with powder, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear. The color is sandalwood. Going back under my black eyeliner with a concealer brush and dipped in NW40 to sharpen up that line so I don't have any smudging. And 
I've highlighted on the inner part of my eyes with, I believe it's Spectra by MAC. Excuse me, it's Retrospect by MAC. Just to give me a slight shimmer. Now I'm using Matte Blush Copper Tone on my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks to give me more definition in the face. I'm then going to do the hollows of my cheeks with Harmony by MAC, it's a MAC blush. And then right in my eye socket, I'm going to do Spring Sheen for a highlight. I'm using Benefit Cosmetics Mascara in their reel. I really like this mascara a lot. It gives me a lot of definition and volume. And when I get done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take my flexi rods out and show you guys the final look. Hey YouTube, so this is the completed look. I did go ahead and I took the flexi rods down and I added a little flower just for an accent. But hopefully you guys like this look. Um, if you do, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be doing <clears throat> excuse me more looks in the future. And if you have any comments, concerns, or questions, go ahead and post them in the link below. Um, also, I'll list all the tools that I used to achieve this look on my blog, so be sure to check that out. But that's it for today, and see you soon.